Hey guys, we have a new update and we have one of the most requested features in drawings. It's editable title blocks. I'm gonna teach you everything about it right now. All right, this next one is one of the most requested drawing features to date. So I'm excited to finally show you all the new title block editor for drawings. Title blocks are associated to the template you are using for your drawings. So let's start by creating a new drawing template. After specifying the drawing standard, units, and sheet size, we will be thrown into a new drawing template. Next, let's right click on the title block and select Edit Title Block. Fusion 360 will not let us edit the default title block, so we are prompted to add a new title block. Don't worry, we get three different options on how to create title blocks. We can either duplicate and edit an existing title block, create one from scratch, or upload a DWG as a starting point. Let's choose to duplicate and edit the existing one. Let's give it a title so we can choose this one later. Once we hit OK, we will be thrown into the title block editor. Let's start by changing the length of a few lines. Notice when I click on these lines, the endpoints highlight for me to start manipulating. For those of you who have been around a while, this will bring you back to your AutoCAD days. In this case, I will select all four lines and decrease the, their length at the same time. These attributes are no longer needed, so we can select them and hit the delete key to remove them from our title block. Next, let's grab out our line command. Make sure to check out the other geometry tools to help create any type of title block. If you select the line, you can change both the line type and line weight to ensure your title block meets your company's standards. Now, we obviously want our company logo on every drawing, so we can insert an image from your local hard drive to ensure your logo is on the drawing. Now I know you don't want to keep watching me draw out lines, so let's jump ahead a bit. Now when you're adding text to your drawing, there are two options. The text command's purpose is for text in your drawing that you don't want to be changed. Use the text command for things on your drawings that aren't variable, like column headers, notes, and more. The second option is to use your attributes. The attributes appear blue on the title block. Attributes can be manually edited when creating a drawing. The code and DWG number are examples of attributes in this title block. I'll show you how this works in a minute. Alternatively, attributes can also be automatically populated for a few parameters today. We will be expanding on this limited list in the future. Now let's jump ahead a bit and hop out of the title block editor. In Fusion 360 Smart Templates, the object that gets placed on the sheet via the placeholder is what will be automatically generated when this drawing template is used. In this example, I want a cover sheet created for the assembly. I can change the size of the sheet and notice that the current title block is too small for this sheet size. I have created a few different title blocks, so we could switch between my custom title blocks through the settings at the bottom of Fusion 360. Finally, let's add a placeholder to this page. The magic of Fusion 360's smart templates is created through the representation option in the placeholder. We can have a sheet automatically created for assemblies, components, folded sheet metal parts, flat patterns, and exploded views, which are created through storyboards in the animation workspace. This sheet will automatically be created for assemblies in our Fusion 360 design when this template is used. Don't worry, we will see this in action shortly. Now, let's jump to a template I created earlier. This one has a sheet for each representation in the placeholder view. Now, Let's use this template on this Nitro engine design. You will notice multiple sheets are automatically created with different title blocks for my Fusion 360 design. Lastly, if we look at one of the title blocks, you will notice some of the attributes are automatically generated. For attributes that haven't been automatically generated, we can simply double click over the blue text to manually change them. Hey, we have another update coming in about a week. It's a big one. Make sure to check it out.